More than 50 metres below London, engineers have been building what they hope will be the solution to the capital's sewage problems. The existing Victorian system struggles to cope in significant, rain, in significant rainfall, often leading to untreated waste being pumped into the River Thames. Our environment correspondent Jonah Fisher has been given rare access inside the super sewer to find out how it's going to help. So there's our basket. OK. It's, uh, Hanging from a crane. Yeah, yeah, well, that, that's the, uh, it's the only way to get into most of our shafts now. So we're in the centre of London at Battersea and we're about to go 55 metres down into the ground to join the super sewer, the biggest and deepest tunnel that's ever been built in London. It's great to be on a bike because this project is just so huge. The tunnel is vast and it stretches all the way across London, mainly under the Thames, 15 miles. And the basic idea is that it's going to take the, the sewage and rainwater that at the moment flows into the river and divert it to the east of the city where it can be processed properly. I'm Andy Mitchell, I'm the chief exec of Tideway, and we're building this new sewer. Here we are at the uh, Victoria interception point, which is this connection tunnel here. So this is where eventually the, the sewage will flow in. Come rushing through here, it'll figure gravity out and it'll head off uh, east uh, in the direction that we've been going. So at the moment, the sewage and water, that's just going straight into the river. When, when it spills, it goes into the river, yeah. So this will... And, and this will stop th that. This will stop that and, I suppose, clean up the river quite, a, quite yeah. a significantly. Uh, ab absolutely. So 25 metres above us is the trains and then the river is up on top of another that. Another 20-odd metres above that, yeah. OK. Oh. Here we are. Here, another one. Quite clearly a train. OK, it looks like it's getting dark up here. Yeah. It's really quite spooky without the lights on. Yes. Uh, and this is what the tunnel will be like when we finish. There are obviously no lights, no, yeah. nothing in it at all. Do you mind if I have a shout down the tunnel, see, if, see what the echo's like? Yeah, you go for it. Whoop! It's still going. That will be going all the way to the end of the Tideway Tunnel right in East London where the sewage is going to be processed and coming all the way back, back here. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, there is light at the end of the tunnel. We've had quite a nice cycle today, quite enjoyed it. You don't think climate change and there being more rain, mm -hmm. possibly, and more storms in the future mm -hmm. will in the end render what you've done here well, not as effective, basically? I think that's a, it's a big part of climate change, of course. We are seeing and we expect to see more extreme uh, weather conditions, rain included. Um, and, and yes, that's going to mean this tunnel gets used more. But the point here is that uh, the solution for London going forward is to do something better with the rainwater than simply throw it in the sewers in the first place. And that is what's going to make the difference going forward. So this tunnel is buying London time yes. to sort out the big issue, which is separating out sewage and rainwater. Correct. That's exactly what we're doing. That daylight up there is Blackfriars, and this is the end of our bike ride. There's construction materials here, so we can't go any further. But the sewage will continue down this pipe for another 11 miles or so to a wastewater treatment plant, the biggest one in Europe, that will process all of the sewage and water that ends up in this massive pipe.